So again, looking at this square root function, we want to generate the function which uh, represents the slope function, or in other words, the derivative function. So we're going to start with this, again, general point x. The y coordinate is going to be square root x. We're going to move a point just arbitrarily close at x plus h. So the y coordinate of that green point is square root of x plus h. So then setting up the slope ratio, we're going to do this. So the the function which represents the slope function is going to be based on y1 minus y2 all over the run, okay, all over h. And we want to do this as a limit because we want to let this, the run or the h go to zero. So the limit as h goes to zero of this ratio. Okay, so we've seen this one, one similar to this before, where we need to get rid of the square roots to be able to free up the h factor. So in order to do that, we need to use a conjugate function. Okay, so we need to multiply by x plus h plus square root x. That will give us a difference of squares, which allows us to free up the square roots. Okay, and if we do that to the top, we have to do that to the bottom. So there it is. So we can then multiply that together. So we get limit as h goes to 0. This becomes x plus h square root squared minus square root x squared. So we get x. And on the bottom, we have our h. And then we have all of this. Okay. So now we can get rid of some of these terms and simplify this so the x's cancel out. We end up with h's on, on the top and bottom. So that h is the one we want. That factor of h will cancel out with that divide h. And then we end up with this expression. So limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over square root x plus h plus square root x. And again, that h down here is not a problem because that's not going to generate a zero in the denominator. So we can just plug that in. And we end up with square root x plus square root x, which is 2 square root x. So there is the general function which describes the slope, or the slope function, or in other words, the derivative function. Okay, so we end up with 1 over 2 square root x. Okay, so there is a, the derivative function of the square root of x. Okay, so the last one here, we're looking at the reciprocal function. So again, we can just take a look at this graph. 1 over x. Okay, the graph looks like this. We can choose some arbitrary point here. Call that x. So y coordinate is going to be 1 over x. Okay, we can choose a point relatively close to x, which we'll call x plus h. Okay, so the, this distance in here is our h. The height of that graph, it will call that 1 over x plus h. And we want to get the slope, which is a difference in those heights, and we're going to let that so that green point move towards the black point, and we're going to get end up with our tangent slope. And since we've generalized it, we're going to get a, a function which calculates our tangent slope, or in other words, the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Okay, so the first coordinate is going to be 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x. And that's going to be all over the run of h. Okay, so there's our, our slope, our rise over run. We're going to let that run go to 0. or essentially bring those two points closer to each other. And as we do, the, the secant slope is going to approach the tangent slope. And so we want, we're going to calculate the tangent slope function. So 
to do this, we want to get a common denominator to subtract those two fractions. So I'm going to end up with x minus x plus h all over the common denominator of x times x plus h, all divided by h. So I'm going to put that h in the denominator like this. So like in the all the other examples, things are going to cancel out. We're going to end up with a negative x in the numerator there. Okay, so we end up with limit as h approaches 0, negative h over x times x plus h times h. Those h's then cancel out, and we end up having no divide by zeros because that x plus h plus 0 becomes just an x. So when we plug in our, I'm just going to write one more step here, limit as h goes to 0 of negative 1 over x times x plus h. Well, we end up with negative of x times x on the bottom, so negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so what we're saying then is the derivative function, okay, so the, the function that calculates tangent slopes on 1 over x is going to be calculated by negative 1 over x squared. So this function allows us to calculate slopes. So, so I think this one's a good one to test because I know the reciprocal function. I know that x equals 1, y equals 1, the slope is negative 1 because it's a 45 degree slope. So when I plug that in, I'm just going to test it. f prime of 1 is equal to negative 1 over 1 squared. Yeah, that's going to give me that negative 1 slope tangent line, which I was expecting at that point at 1 and 1. 